بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم ورحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ امید ہے کہ آپ سب لوگ خیر و عافیت سے ہیں جہاں جہاں پہ بھی ہیں ان شاء اللہ ارمن صفیہ آپ پیرنٹنگ ان کمپلیکیٹڈ بینگ اے ہوم اسکولر آئی ایم ہیئر ٹو گیو یو اے سیریز آن ٹو ٹاپکس اینڈ اٹ ول بی اے مکس آف ایٹ کریکولم اینڈ ہوم اسکولنگ میتھڈس اینڈ وین آئی ول بی ڈسکسنگ ہوم اسکولنگ میتھڈس Uh, after that, I would also give you an overview of the eclectic method that I have been using and uh, a, a, a short uh, view of the synopsis of day of what a homeschooler's day might or might, uh, might not look like, inshallah. So these are the three, four objectives of the rest of the series of the videos that's um, going to come your way, inshallah. Curriculum ki baat kertam. What is curriculum? Curriculum is basically a methodology جو آپ استعمال کرتے ہو اپنے ہوم اسکول کو سیٹ اپ کرنے کے لیے اگر آپ کے بچے پری کے یعنی کنڈر گارڈن سے نیچے کے ایج کے ہیں لیٹ سے تھری نرسری جس کو ہم کہتے ہیں تھری تھری اینڈ ہاف سم پیپل آر ایگر ٹو سین دیر کڈس ٹو اینڈ ہاف اگین دیٹس اے پلے گروپ ایج یوزلی چلڈرن آر لرننگ بائی پلے ایٹ دیٹ پوائنٹ سو وٹ آر وٹ what the curriculum looks like for a homeschooling parent at that point whether you have before sent your child to a school or whether you have not sent your child to a school and you're going to start it from home a uh, very fresh start you the things that they usually need to learn are the letters the quran uh, ayahs right uh, some sort of <clears throat> some sort of vocabulary in different languages if you want them to be bilingual trilingual then you start with uh, alphabets and with vocabulary words this is from ages three and up right their numbers their um, shapes their colors their cutting their writing letters um, they're tracing their letters not just with the pen and the pencil but also with other manipulatives like sand or sugar or salt or paint etc Uh, sorting, sorting out different objects, sorting out different colors, sorting out different shapes, um, gluing, uh, sharing, uh, other basically, sharing, um, regulating your emotions. The child needs to learn from early age on how to regulate their emotions, how to be able to share with their friends and uh, their siblings, how to be able to, um, when they're feeling frustrated when they when they have this urge of expressing themselves but they're short of words they usually shout it out or stomp their feet though how to regulate emotions um calmly without using negative uh, yelling and negative um, methods that would actually hinder their long-term communication abilities with with the parent or with anybody for that matter Transitioning, if your child has been doing one activity and now you want them to get up and do another activity, then how to transition and how to tell them that, okay, you know what, um, uh, Ahmed, it's time to stop painting and now inshallah we are going to do some story time. Ahmed says, no, I don't want to do story time, I just want to keep painting. And there's, there's, there's going to be this frustration and yelling and crying and before it escalates to that extreme, we have to learn how to help them transition. For example, we set the rules from the day first that this is the time uh, when mama will say, let's transition to this. Uh, it won't be easy. Like Ahmed would say, nah, nah, I don't want to do it. But then slowly and gradually, when you will keep that practice consistent, the child will inshallah understand that when she says that I have to transition to another activity or it's time for this other activity, then it becomes much more easier. Um, everything, including our deen practices, come from consistency. Nothing can be achieved and accomplished until we are consistent. So that is one of the... Um, one of the key success factors consistency it does not mean that it has to be repetitive it means that the certain basic uh, rules of uh, homeschooling have to be consistent these are the four hours that we have blocked for our study sometimes those four hours may change may shift due to somebody falling sick due to appointments due to family visiting due to you visiting somebody else but that means that you would still use the other hours of the day to over um, to compensate for that four hours 
for instance, you are unable to homeschool for a weekend, for a complete whole weekend, you're not able to do that, then you would say, in the next five days, I will add that half an hour, or I will subtract that half an hour, depending upon what your situation is. Consistency is the key. If we have set up certain schedules, and I will talk about schedules, inshallah, but we're not consistent with them, homeschooling, whether it's for the age three or for the age 15, it's not going to be productive, inshallah. Some of the homes, uh, some of the methods that they use here uh, in the West for preschoolers, right? They are the Bank Street curriculum, and then it's uh, the Raju Amelia principle, and then it's a high scope method. Now, I will discuss all of these three briefly uh, so that you could understand and make connection between them.